Hi there. This video is about the different types of Facebook posts available to you. Um, Facebook is unique in that it has different types of posts that do different things. Um, and so I'm going to walk you through all of them and how to identify them. Okay, so this first one, these first two are just regular good old organic posts. So on the left side is from a company that I follow and um, this is them just organic posting to me. The one on the right side you'll see is actually from a group that I participate in. Um, it still looks like a regular post, but that Flemington United tag identifies it as a group post. So Stephen and I, we don't follow each other, um, but we are members of the same group. So therefore, even though I'm not following him, I still see his content. These are examples of Facebook ads, which look identical or almost identical to organic posts. But I'm going to show you a couple key differences. The first one is that an ad in Facebook always has the sponsored label on it. This is how you know you're getting um, a paid ad given to you. And it's going to be from someone that you may not follow, you've never even heard of. And then the second thing, oh, you get these little nifty call to action buttons. Um, they're all predetermined language that you can choose from. Um, sign up, book now, and then there's even ad types that are for uh, liking pages. And then depending on, again on the type of ad, you, they can put their URL in here. You would not get these options with an organic post. And finally, on the left, we have job posts, and on the right, we have an event post. So a job post allows you to post a job on Facebook's job board that people can find and search for their area. It is free, so I consider this an organic post type. The nice thing about this is that below the image, you get to put the title of the position, and you see where it is, and if it's part-time or full-time right away, along with the company, and then a call to action button for applying. And then if they click that, they can actually apply right there online. It pre-fills out as much information as possible and sends it over to whomever is, has posted the job. On the right-hand side with an event post, um, if you're hosting an event or you're going to an event, this is the type of post you want to create, not a regular organic post because your date and time information and who's hosting it is clearly identifiable at the top along with being able to add a description so you don't have to do all of that. The second thing is is that people can decide if they're interested going or not going and if they do one of those three things that's counted as an engagement and that can be tracked because you can see one person went, 13 people were interested. And if someone does interact with it, it actually shows it to their followers because Facebook thinks if someone's interested in going to an event, the people that are following them might be interested as well. Okay, so I hope you have a better understanding and can identify the different types of posts in Facebook so that you can use them effectively.